It is a shocking series of events. A caregiver charged with murder tonight in the death of a disabled woman from Suffolk. Investigators say the 23-year-old with cerebral palsy was starved, beaten, and drugged. Only on 10, our Joe Fisher talked to the victim's mother. And Joe, the family put their trust in this caregiver only to have the worst happen. Well, Tom, Keisha Freeman had been the family's in-home aide for three years. There was trust, a lot of trust, before the alleged murder six months ago. That investigation is now wrapped up, and the 23-year-old's mother has no doubt that her daughter suffered in the final moments of her life. She always had a smile on her face, always, and that's how I remember her. Born with cerebral palsy, Shaquille Hall always had a caregiver. One of them, Keisha Freeman, the woman now charged in Shaquille's death. She was good with her. You know, when she come over, my baby be happy go lucky. Three years of trust led Monique Bailey to ask Freeman to take Shaquille to her home for five weeks. As the family coped with the death of their grandmother, the two became friends. Bailey says she called Freeman March 1st. Time for her daughter to come home. I called. She told me she was in Maryland. And I was like, well, who gave you permission to take her to Maryland? The next day, Freeman knocked on Bailey's door. Shaquille died. An autopsy shows she suffered blunt force trauma to the abdomen after a drug overdose and being starved and dehydrated. Investigators say Freeman is to blame. I'm going to make sure they throw the book at you because my baby did not deserve to die. She did not deserve to be mistreated. Investigators in Southampton County, where Freeman lived, say the caretaker worked for a nursing facility in which Shaquille's Medicaid covered. Bailey says she now keeps her daughter's death certificate by her side. I just read it because I'm just in disbelief that she did all of this. Bailey hopes no one endures the pain she's felt the past six months. Closure, she says, can't come soon enough. I'm getting better. I don't think I'll completely be better until she gets sentenced. And investigators say it was against the policy of Freeman's company to take Shaquille to her own home. Freeman will face a judge on charges of murder and abuse and neglect in November. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.